Hello, this is Stephanie Ross, librarian at Hudson Valley Community College. In this video, you will learn how to search for articles using the library database JSTOR. You will see an overview of the database, learn how to narrow or focus your search results, and learn how to access and save full text articles. I'll begin by entering my keywords into the search boxes at the top of the page. Today, I'll be searching John F. Kennedy. I'm using quotation marks to search his name exactly as it appears here. I want to focus my search results even more, and I'll add an additional keyword about John F. Kennedy, or about his, his life, specifically his inauguration. If I can spell inauguration. Next, I'll scroll down and select articles under item type. I can continue to focus my result list by updating the date of publication if your assignment requires um, a more recent publication. But one thing I really like about JSTOR is that it allows you to select the subject area um, that your article will be about. For this particular topic, I'll select American Studies and History. Depending on your course and your assignment, you may select a variety of different subject areas to focus your search results. I'll scroll down and select Search. I can continue to refine my results using the filters on the left side of my screen. Once I find an article that I'd like to read, I'll select the title. JSTOR has an embedded e-reader, so you will be able to read the full text of the article directly on the web. I can scroll through or click through the pages here. To the left of the e-reader will be the citation information as well as an option for saving. Um, here you'll see the title, the author, the journal of publication. Below the citation information will be the stable URL or the permalink. And this link will be able to get you back to this page every time. Below the stable URL is the link to the generated citation. Remember, generated citations aren't perfect. You'll want to check the citation using your style guide or the library's Cite Your Sources guide. Right away, I see a mistake in this generated, in these generated citations. The author's name should not be in all caps as it appears. This is something you'd want to fix in your assignment or in your Word document. Below the um, tags for this article will also be the abstract or summary or the description of the article. One final way that you can save access is to download the PDF. I'll select the blue button, download PDF, and accept JSTOR's terms and conditions. The first page will be a cover sheet that will contain all of the citation information again. And then the next page will be the first page of the article. If you have questions about searching in JSTOR or any of the library's research databases, you can always ask a librarian. Thank you for watching this video.